Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I am Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be in the Tier 8 Premium Japanese Battleship Masashi. Um, this ship is the um, rank, basically the Tier 100 rank reward ship. Um, in the new, uh, or in the uh, campaign, I guess. I just picked this up yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on it. Her strengths, her weaknesses. I'm gonna go over all of that stuff in this video. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, please do not forget to go, uh, forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and also hit the like button. Um, it does help out the channel quite a bit. And once you guys watch the video all the way through, make sure to go down there and leave a comment. Tell me what you guys thought of it. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk a bit about Masashi. Now, real quick, I would like to point off in this match that it is literally like five Musashis. Like, literally. Five Musashis on, like, either team. Plus some. It's freaking nuts, dude. The matchmaker with this uh, this week right now is absolutely awful because of the fact that everybody's getting their hands on Musashi, including me. So... It was kind of hard for me to get a good game because I'm getting overmatched by everything and I'm doing the same to these guys. So it's it's kind of hard to get a good match recorded and get it for you guys. But this is one of those I just got recently and I thought why not use this one as the Masashi game that I'm going to use. So yeah, pretty good match. But hopefully like next week or the week after, you know, in a few, couple weeks down the line, hopefully things will calm down a bit and uh, maybe I can actually get a pretty damn good good game in Masashi. But uh, right now, it's just mayhem. 18.1 inch guns absolutely everywhere. It's nu it's nuts right now. So, really not a very good time to record a game, uh, in, a game in the Masashi. But I did get something a little bit here for you guys. Now, we're going to talk a bit about Masashi. Now, if you guys haven't, you know, realized by now, the Masashi is a Yamato-class battleship. As you guys can see there, we just absolutely smacked the shit out of that Masashi. <laughs> Getting a Citadel right in his cheek there, absolutely blowing him up. And, uh, yeah, down he goes. We're up to 48k damage. But, yeah, the Masashi is a Japanese battleship, and it's, of course, one of the Yamato-class battleships. Um, and, well, what do we know about Yamato? Well, Yamato has 18.1-inch guns, It's uh, and uh, the Masashi is the sister ship of the Yamato. Now, the one thing i got to keep in mind is the Masashi and Yamato are basically the same ship, except that they're not. The accuracy and dispersion um, on the Masashi, it actually has Japanese dispersion. The, the Yamato has American dispersion. I know, it may sound weird, but yes, it's very true. The Masashi has Japanese dispersion, which means that your uh, your dispersion rolls and your RNG rolls at range are going to be a little bit better. You're going to get better accuracy and dispersion at range, usually. At least you'll get better rolls, um, or dispersion rolls at range. However, when you're in the Yamato, um, you're much more efficient at medium to closer ranges. Um, so keep that in mind now the reload on these guns obviously i got it down to 23 seconds that's because of the modifications i have on here and speaking of that i'm gonna put that up on the screen for you guys right about now so yeah for the modifications we have aiming systems we have um, damage control party we've got concealment mod and we have main battery mod 3 which does decrease the reload a lot uh, my reload on here is like 24 23 seconds it's just ridiculous and think of that because you got you got 18 inch guns so that's 18.1 inch guns every what every 23 24 seconds that's disgusting that really is and uh yeah so now for the uh commander build i'm gonna put that up on the screen for you guys right about now so we are running none other than takio tagagi we have paulo de revel for the extra reload on our on our main batteries and we have a uh, ding which also does decrease the reload i'm basically a full-on reload build it's pretty disgusting <laughs> so we got phoenix of course as his um his base trait um total hp restored by repair party plus 4.75 percent we've got flammable cannoneer gyrating drill bits marksmanship reaching out xxl and will to rebuild he's a level 16 legendary three Capitan. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm gonna go and take that away and talk a bit more about Masashi, shall we? So we already covered the main highlight of the ship. That's the guns. The guns are fantastic. I mean, they still have occasional, well, not just occasional, it's pretty consistently you got troll last dispersion. I mean, that's basically the only way of putting it. Your shells are gonna fly off in every which way they can. I mean, that's just how it is sometimes. However, you can get some good salvos occasionally, right? That does happen. Now, for the other stuff here, let's talk about the AA on the Masashi. Now, the AA on Masashi, 
not good at all. It's it's actually one of the it's I think it has like the worst AA out of any tier eight battleship. Um, so do not depend on this at all to save your life from carriers at all. Don't depend on it <laughs> Now for the secondary batteries, that's where this thing actually comes in a little bit more It does get an I think it gets an extra 155 millimeter um, six inch gun mount on either side of the ship So the secondaries are actually better than Yamato So I guess that's something but other than that I mean if you guys look at the ship closely you guys could see just how bare the ship is It's got nothing on the deck Basically nothing on the deck. And by the way, oof, we hit that guy for 30k triple citadel. <laughs> that was juicy. But uh, yeah, as you guys can see there, look at the deck. Nothing there. That's just what I mean, guys. It just does not have a whole lot of AA. Not much you can really do about that. But really, you should not be wanting to use your AA or your secondaries in this ship anyway. You should be specking into the guns. The guns is where this ship's going to shine. And uh, yeah. And once these, um, once these matches cool down a bit, and once we stop getting um, so many freaking Masashi Yamato games, um, you, you'll probably have a lot better time in Masashi, because hopefully next week or the week after, um, there won't be as many 18.1 inch guns out there, and you'll be able to absolutely dominate lobbies. So look out for future videos um, in the Masashi, but right now, it is pretty damn difficult to get a good game in it. So, the other thing I want to talk about is, of course, the armor and the, um, and of course, the survivability of this ship. So, the armor and survivability. Obviously, you got 32 millimeters of balanced turn plating. Pretty damn good, um, but it's pretty average for the tier. Um, nothing too special there. And the deck armor, not very good. HE will absolutely rip you up. It's pretty average. Armor is really not too special. One thing you got to watch out for is that cheek. You got that big old um, cheek. And if you expose that, you can get absolutely obliterated. And I've had it happen quite a bit to me. So be careful is all. <laughs> Especially when there is a lot of 18.1 inch guns roaming about right now. You have to be especially careful because of that reason alone. Now, the survivability of this thing, it's good, but like, if people put their mind to it and focus you down, you've got a lot of superstructure, and people will absolutely plaster you if they want to do so. Um, this thing just will take HE um, like a freaking barbecue on a Saturday night, okay? It's not gonna, it's not gonna do very well. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, really, there's not much else left to talk about with this ship. It's pretty damn good. It's, a, it's basically a Yamato at tier 8, but a bit worse. That's basically the only way I know how to put it. It's just, it, but however, it does have some better things, such as, of course, the secondaries. Secondaries are slightly better, and the AA is worse, obviously. But um, the main batteries are a bit different. That's because they get Japanese dispersion. Unlike Yamato, I know. Yamato actually gets American dispersion. At least that's what the um, community manager said on, I think, one of their live streams. That's what they said. They said, uh, Apparently that the Yamato has American dispersion and the Masashi doesn't it actually has the Japanese dispersion So I don't know there's some minor di differences and some of course some minor weaknesses of the Masashi compared to Yamato But do I recommend this ship if you guys are wanting to get it? Yeah, I mean it's nothing it's nothing too crazy Like if you guys already have Yamato and you're like on a budget and you don't want to have to spend crazy amounts of money to get this thing It's okay to let it go. You know, it's nothing too special, right? It's just a Yamato at tier 8. That's basically the only way no I know how to put it um, but yeah, if you guys have the uh, level to get it, like you guys are already like 90 or 100 and you guys haven't bought the Admiralty backing yet, pick it up. You can't go wrong with this thing. And it has some pretty cool historical significance. I mean, hey, it's the Musashi. <laughs> like, you can't go wrong with this boat. But um, yeah, so we basically are at the end of this video. All we have to do is take out this Wichita and that should be the end of this one. Wichita has been basically pulling the tier 7 hipper this whole time, kiting around, using his maneuverability and speed. Um, great job to him, I guess, but uh, it's not good enough. See ya! <laughs> That's our second kill of the game, and our final. And uh, yeah, battle ended, and uh, not too shabby whatsoever. Not too bad at all. Look at that. Yeah, nothing too crazy. But uh, obviously, hope you all did enjoy it. If you guys did, leave a like. Tell me what you guys thought of it in the comments, and uh, if you guys aren't already subscribed, do so does help out the channel quite a bit. You guys are freaking awesome. I hope you all have a good rest of your Tuesdays. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.